Okay. Good day everyone. My name is Ordemel Paolo and I will be your trainer in Aquaculture in situ. So our topic this day is about pan preparation. So this topic is part of unit of competency number two which is prepare and maintain aquaculture facilities. Meron din ito, nakalagay din ito doon sa inyong mga modules, no? This is part of the topics doon sa inyong modules. But, i-discuss natin ito ngayon dahil ang pan preparation ay napakahalagang bahagi no? ng ating uh, pan culture or prior or before tayo magkukulture ng ating uh, fish pan or any cultured species. Now, in any earthen pond, culture system, the bottom soil plays a major role in the pond yield. Ang sabi dito, ang pond bottom, in an earthen pond, when you say earthen pond, ito yung walang halong semento or walang halong pond liner. Purely soil yung ating pond culture system. Ang soil ang nagbibigay ng malaking bahagi doon sa pond yield or yung sa pag-produce natin ng maraming isda so dapat malaman natin yung process ng pan preparation talaga high organic matter content and neutral soil often promotes higher primary productivity and hence higher fish yield or fish yield rather so yung fish uh, yung fish yield nagadepende yun sa presence ng organic matter doon sa ating soil of course, aside pa doon sa pinapakain natin na feeds. No? So that's why we are doing pan preparation. So natural foods organisms are one of the most important food sources in our pan. So yung natural foods like yung nabanggit ko sa mga videos natin last time, uh, yung mga plankton, lablab, mga algae, those are natural foods that our fish pan needs to have. No? Kailangan talaga merong natural food yung ating earthen pan. It is rich in protein, vitamins, minerals, and other essential growth and other nutrients. So yan yung important uh, nutrients na kailangan ng ating mga uh, isda. So that's why sa pan preparation pa lang, dapat maihanda na yung ating soil sa pag-produce ng mga natural foods na merong ganitong mga uh, nutrients. So, fish yield, uh, fish yield in pan can also be affected by the presence of predators, deteriorating waters, quality and improper pan management. Ano ba yung mga predators? Ito yung mga hayop or any organisms na kumakain doon sa ating cultured species, yung ating mga is that nakaka-apekto ito directly doon sa pag-produce natin ng maraming isda. So that's why in pan preparation, kailangan ma-remove ang mga predators and also ang mga maduduming tubig. Sabi diyan deteriorating water quality is kailangan ding matanggal because if improper pan management is yung ito yung maiisagawa ng isang technician hindi maayos ang pag-manage ng pan, eventually, yung atin uh, culture, hindi siya magsasaksi. Pan preparation is a first step towards ensuring a better pan production. Ibig sabihin, ito yung pinakauna natin ginagawa para masigurado natin na yung ating pan production is better and quality and to ensure high yield or higher income. So, yeah. There are three major categories in pan preparation. So, take note of these three major categories, guys. Okay? First is extensive culture. Ano ba yung extensive culture? Those that depend entirely on natural food. So, ito yun, ang culture system na ito, yung ating mga fish, fishes, kinoculture natin sila. Pero, ang pinapakain natin, is purely natural food. Okay? Wala na tayong ibang pinapakain doon lang sa natural food. Dumedepende sila. So, mas less yung 
gastos natin in terms of feeds kasi kung ano na yung present doon sa kanilang water na mga natural food yun lang ang kanilang kinakain so that is extensive culture ano ba yung mga uh, fishes na kinukulture natin like tilapia pwede yan siya sa extensive culture kasi kumakain niya siya kahit ano yung ating tilapia basta andiyan sa ating fish pan like mga hito no nabubuhay ang hito sa mga pagkain lang na present doon sa fish pan second is semi intensive culture what is semi intensive culture these are uh, dependent on both natural and supplementary feeds so nagpapakain tayo ng natural food at the same time nagpapakain din tayo ng feeds o yung mga artificial feeds. Both sila ang ating pinapakain sa culture system na ito. So, ang example dyan is yung shrimp natin. No? Ang sa shrimp and other na mga isda pwede rin natin gawin sa semi-intensive culture system. Third is intensive culture. So, when we say intensive culture, those that depends entirely on artificial diet. So, purely artificial feeds lang yung pinapakain doon sa mga isda or sa ating mga cultured species. No? Although, mas ang malaki ang percentage ng ating magagastos kapag tayo ay nasa intensive culture, but we will assure na lalaki at maabot natin yung harvestable size in intensive culture system. Okay. <clears throat> it says that irrespective of the culture operation used, it is always advisable to prepare the pond in sustaining high, or sustaining high natural productivity throughout the culture period. So, kailangan talaga na magsagawa tayo ng pond preparation to ensure the productivity of natural food all throughout sa ating culture period. So, these are the nine stages of uh, pan preparation. <clears throat> okay. So, take note of this um, kasi this is part of the assessment. No? Tinatanong din ito during the assessment. Itong stages of pan preparation. Kaya, kailangan natin itong uh, i-familiarize, i-memorize yung steps and yung kanyang purpose. Okay? So, first is sa soil sampling. Ano ba yung soil sampling? So, as you can see in the picture, magkakaroon o kukuha tayo ng soil. Magsasample tayo ng soil. At ang first step yan, kukuha tayo ng soil. Okay? Prior to pan preparation or before to pan preparation, soil samples are collected from the pan bottom. So, kukuha tayo ng soil sample sa pan bottom at sa mga dike sa gilid ng ating fish pan para malaman natin yung pH. Ano nga yung pH? This is acidity and alkalinity of our soil. Yung kanya water but ito is yung kanya soil. And organic matter content analysis. So, this is more on laboratory activities, no? na titingnan yung pH level, titingnan yung organic matter doon sa ating soil, if suitable ba siya uh, sa ating culture or sa ating aquaculture activities later on. <coughs> soil pH <coughs> soil pH analysis is generally conducted to determine lime requirement. So, yung lime requirement or yung lime, kailangan natin yun uh, ilagay sa ating fish pan. No? So, through soil pH analysis, malalaman dyan kung ilang amount ang ating gagamiting lime sa ating fish pan. Okay? Ano ba yung purpose ng lime? It neutralize the acidity of our fish pan. So, in-increase niya ang pH level, ginagawa ng lime na maging basic, maging alkaline yung soil ng ating fish pan. Hmm. So, this procedure is important for newly developed pan. Yung mga bagong pan pa lang. Kung baga, bago pa siya na uh, ginawang fish pan, hindi, na siya, ma, hindi pa siya matagal o hindi siya matagal na ginagamit. Kung baga, first time na doon ka magkukulture ng iyong um, fishes. So, kailangan ma-soil sampling talaga 
yung ating soil para malaman kung merong mga minerals na present dyan na hindi pwede gamitin o hindi pwedeng makuha ng ating fishes later on kapag nagkukulture na tayo ng uh, mga isda. So ito, when acidic soil condition is detected, corrective measures can be incorporated in the pan preparation activities. So kung acidic ang soil, mapeprevent na natin siya doon pa lang sa pan preparation activities. Kasi mahirap na pag meron ng tubig, may nagkukulture na tayo ng isda, e doon natin ma, uh, malalaman na acidic pala ang soil because of the um, negative effect doon sa ating fish pan. So, mahirap nang i-bigyan ng remedy yon. So, we need to prevent the acidity of the soil and we need to eradicate those acidity. No? Doon pa lang sa pan preparation natin yan magagawa. Sampling of soil is not necessary for well-conditioned pan. Doon sa mga conditioned pan, <clears throat> hindi na kailangan i-soil sampling yon. Lalo na yung mga existing na yung matagal na ginagamit ng mga fish pan for culture hindi na natin pwedeng o oh, hindi na siya advisable na isampling kasi nga ginagamit na siya existing na siya na fish pan matagal na ginagamit <clears throat> this is a procedure in uh, soil sampling uh, hindi na natin ito i-discuss basta tandaan natin yung first step is soil sampling okay